The world is in chaos. An antimatter wave is making its way past various Earths, annihilating every Earth it comes across. This forces the Flash into the speed force, exposing him to various realities in different Earth and beyond. Welcome to its mythical. We are recapping the animation titled Justice League, Crisis on Infinite Earth. In one of the realities, Barry Allen met Iris for the first time. She happened to be a waiter with a dream of becoming a reporter. It was love at first sight for Barry as he asked her to join him for lunch. A strange being chanted his name outside and in that moment, he was back in the speed force which brought him to another reality in another world. There he was attacked by a robot called Amazo. Superman was able to save Barry just in time before it caused further damage. Superman attacked the robot, but he was defeated as the robot drained his energy. Green Arrow appeared on the scene and fired some shots causing a distraction as they escape. Right before Superman passed out, he gave them Bruce Wayne address and asked that he being taken there. They arrived at Bruce Wayne apartment and were about to go in when the Flash got back into Speed Force. In a moment, he was back with Iris. They were walking on the street when the Flash offered to give alms to a beggar. It turns out the beggar was the strange being from before as the being touched him, and at that moment, he was back at Bruce Wayne apartment. Bruce assessed Superman and figured there was nothing to worry about as Superman recovered at a rapid pace. Batman and The Flash did some investigations and found out that the robot was acting outside its initial programming. The four superheroes present decided to form some kind of super team and the Batman suggested they recruited some members to their squad. Their first recruit was the Vixen who happened to be in a fashion show when they visited her. They also succeeded in recruiting the Green Martian but the Green Lantern refused the offer as he was already a member of the Green Lantern Corp. The new formed team were still hanging around when the strange being appeared and touched him again, and this sends him through the speed force as he appeared in another Earth at a different time. Central City was strange as the citizens were scared of him and ran at the sight of him. Confused, he saw another flash in that Earth robbing a bank and confronted him. During the confrontation, the Justice League appeared. They were villains in that Earth as they attacked the Flash and were able to defeat him. At the spark of the speed force, he found himself in a gathering. There, the newfound team celebrated their union and invited the Flash to name the team in which he named the Justice League. The gathering was interrupted by the presence of Amazo as it unconsciously launches an attack on the people which was against his primary function. Lex Luthor appeared on the scene with an armored suit and it turns out that Amazo was reprogrammed by Lex Luthor to do its bidding. The Flash ran quickly to the lab in which the Professor resides and it turns out the Professor suffered from an aging disease. Flash brought him to the scene and he died while the robot tried to heal him. Bruce Wayne and Amazo figured that the disease was inflicted by Lex Luthor as it launches on him and disarm him. Amazo returned the power it stole from the Justice League as it shut down. The Flash once again entered the Speed Force and appeared in another time. It was his wedding. The wedding didn't last for long as they were visited by a strange being called the Harbinger as she teleported every superhero present in that scene to the Monitor's lair. There they met other superheroes from other Earths. The Monitor informed them that the reason they were gathered was because of a wave of antimatter making its way across Earth as it annihilates every Earth it comes across. The question... A hero associated to the Blue Beetle questioned his authenticity as he proves it to them. The smart minds among the heroes gathered in a room to figure out how to stop the wave because it's inanimate. The heroes were brainstorming when the Flash brought them coffee. He explained how he vibrated through the antimatter wave and brought the coffee from three different Earths. It was their answer as they figured if they could make the vibrational generator for all Earth, the antimatter can pass through without annihilating the entire planet. The Flash with the help of Amazo was able to create the generator, and the Flash got on as he rode long enough for the antimatter to pass through, saving the world as the heroes celebrate. This brings us to the end of the part 1. Watch out for the part 2, and in the meantime subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.